What is going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. And today we got some new interior mods to install on my Camaro SS, which is a 2017 Camaro SS, which include these carbon fiber interior parts. We got two of them today to install, which includes a dashboard cover that goes on the lower right side of the dash on the passenger side. We also have a radio trim cover that goes around the radio. It's pretty much just make the interior pop out a little bit, give that extra look, and just make it a lot more badass. Now these parts are from nextgenspeed.com and there's a lot of more options available, not including just these ones. So make sure you check it out if you guys want to look at some more. And we have these available in carbon fiber or a lot more other colors including red, blue, and yellow and some other colors. So make sure you check out nextgenspeed.com to see our full inventory because we've got about like 50 different parts for the interior for a Camaro. And besides the Camaro, we also have F-150, Mustang, and Jeep Wrangler interior parts. So check those out if you guys have one of those. As you guys can see, there's, uh, these are some really high quality carbon fiber parts. They're not real carbon fiber, but they're hydro dipped, which is pretty much good enough instead of paying a hundred bucks or more. As you can see, they're really high quality, got the gloss finish on them. And honestly, the best finish you can get without going for true carbon fiber. These are installed simply by just taking off the double sided tape on the back. They simply install them. It's kind of like, just like a sticker. So we're about to head up to the garage right now and get them installed. See you guys in the garage. And we are officially in the garage. About 20 degrees outside and snowy. At least I got a heated garage over here. Let's get inside the Camaro. And before I jump into this video, I just want to show you some interior mods I've done so far. That I've made a video about. Which include these paddle shifter extension covers. Wait for it to focus. Put these paddle shifter extension covers, which are also found at nextgenspeed.com. They are color matched to match your car, so I had the red, blue, silver, and black. And that's it for now, but we might add some more later. But as you can see, they extend the paddle shifters to give you a better grip on them. And to actually use them when you actually turn your wheel, because if you're sitting inside your car and you turn your wheel with the regular paddle shifters, you kind of have to go over to, to change the gear if you want to. But with these, it makes it 100 times easier and a lot more efficient and looks a lot better. And especially with these blue AC vents that I added right here, I go along the AC event bezels. It matches that perfectly and just give the car a pop on the interior. As you guys can see right here, I added some carbon fiber around the shifter trim, which is also found at nextgenspeed.com. And also I added a little wrap right here just to give a little pop. But I'll be covering this entire thing up with a new carbon fiber radio cover that I have. So before you install these items, you want to clean the surface, make sure it's nice and clean so it to stick perfectly. And to do that, you want to get a little mix of a little bit of alcohol and some water and mix it together to make a little cleaning solution. And once you get that done, you want to get your microfiber towel and your solution and just go in the car and clean the spots where you want to install the items. And I will be doing the dash cover piece that goes right along this side right here. So I'm going to take my solution and just wipe it down a little bit. Make sure you get all the grease and grime off of there and all the dust. Make sure it has a nice spot for everything to stick. You want to get under here too to get the little lip of it. And then you just want to dry it off. Honestly, a really simple procedure and in installation for a pretty sweet looking interior. Now, when you're ready to install these items, a nice tip for this is to add some heat to the adhesive to let it stick better. And it's not required, but it does help. And especially if you come into some issues while you're installing, it's not sticking perfect, we recommend to add some heat. And to do that, you simply use a heat gun, hair dryer, or even a lighter. So, get this one process, get the tape taken off first. And then once you got the tape off and ready to install, you just want to get your heat gun, hair dryer, or lighter. Just simply add some heat to it. Not too close, not too far, but just kind of wave it around a little bit, just to make it a little more sticky. I think that's good. Now you're ready to get it installed. And then once you're ready to install, we're gonna start from the corner right here, just get that perfect. Just wanna line it up without touching it fully yet. As you can see the line right here with the leather, how it's stitched, it's lined up perfectly to put this right in the spot. Spot on right there, so we're just gonna push down. Make sure it's 
nice in there. I'm gonna take my microfiber towel, smooth it down while applying force to it just to get a nice stick to that. And there we go. Installed, it's in there nice and good. All the fingerprints out and it honestly looks fucking awesome. Little $30, $40 part, makes the interior pop out a lot. Has a nice gloss finish to that. I especially love this Camaro Insignia that's embedded into it, which you can see right here. Literally has the Camaro in there, which looks awesome in my opinion. The Camaro lettering, it just looks perfect and matches the car 100%. Hell yeah. But now let's get on to the radio bezel. And for this one, it's the same process as before. Just prep, clean, put some heat, and install. Honestly, a couple minute process does not take long at all. Honestly, for these two pieces, it'll probably take you top of five minutes to install, which is pretty cool. Clean that up. All the grime and grease and dust. And we'll add some heat. Now she's all heated up and cleaned. We start to install. From this one, we're gonna go over the buttons and then we're gonna go from the bottom and push up. As you can see, this one kinda goes under here. So we just wanna go like that. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. And up here, you want to make sure that the light still shows the interior lighting because this does not cover that, which is pretty cool. So make sure it's lined up. See the lighting. And then push down. Want to push it down for a couple seconds because this one has a lot of curves and edges on it, so you just want to make sure it's on there perfectly. And we just want to take your microfiber once you're done, add some pressure, go along every edge, every line. Just make sure it's nice and stuck to it. Just make sure this never comes off ever again unless you want it to. And there we go, she's all installed. That looks honestly amazing with the carbon fiber on the interior. The dash overlay matching right there. Ooh, that looks pretty damn sweet. Honestly, it looks much better. Now, next thing I need to do is add the end and start button right here, which we also have. This is a run that goes around here, just to match everything right here. And yeah, we got them both installed. Pretty damn easy. Nice part, nice quality. Actually, great quality. Got the nice gloss finish to them. Looks 100% carbon fiber, just it isn't. It's the Hydro Dip style, but. If you guys wanted to check these out, make sure you check out nextgenspeed.com. It'll hook you up. These are honestly hard to keep in stock. And I would have added the end and start button, some door handle, shifter trim, and some other stuff that we have available. But honestly, right now, we cannot keep these in stock. I've been selling them a lot of them lately. So make sure you check out nextgenspeed.com before they're all out, okay? I forgot to mention, we also have some steering wheel trim options available. As you can see, the steering wheel panel right here, carbon fiber. Also got the trim right here that's usually silver or chrome. We covered up with carbon fiber and also the middle. So make sure you check out Next Gen Speed for our Camaro needs and carbon fiber needs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Got some more video for you guys coming. 
And actually right now I have a video that's editing. It's about 15 minutes long, but I'm having trouble with my computer. So I'm just trying to get that rendered up because it takes about like five hours to render. I'm thinking about getting a new computer to get that finished up for you guys because it's been a pain in the ass trying to get it to edit. Made it about two weeks ago and it just been having problems ever since. But I'll have that up for you guys soon. And I wish I could take out the Camaro, but as you, as you guys can see, it's snowing and all rainy and all icy outside. So my baby right here, my 17 Camaro SS, will be in the garage at least till the end of spring. I think, yeah, till like April or like May, somewhere around there. So, please like and subscribe for more. I will see you guys next time.